what's going on everybody i am back it's been a minute before i since i've been doing videos um uh, i've been doing videos but the autumn sale on steam really really has taken me out of stuff i've been playing this game called i don't even know what the name of it is but i'll figure out the name and i'll put it on the screen and it has taken up a lot of my time because it's so addictive stranded alien dawn that's the name of it i love that game love it love it love it it has really taken up a lot of my time so uh but i'm back i'm going to be doing videos again i'm going to be uploading videos so uh i hope you guys stay with me and check some video games out <laughs> right now i'm in virtual desktop i am in virtual desktop uh one of my favorite places to be because a young person told me about this and they kept telling me i need to try virtual desktop it'll improve my games my pc vr games probably improve the other games but yes it has really improved my pc vr games to the point where they just look so amazing i'm so outdone and i can bump up bump it up even past what i had it at first uh there it is virtual desktop so when you do install virtual desktop you got to install it on your pc and you got to install it on your oculus now the pc version is free but the oculus version costs and i can't remember how much it is but you just go to your play store or your meta horizon store sorry about that man eh, i might get that game anyway you go to your meta horizon store and you just type in let me see if i can get it uh if i can get it virtual desktop let's see how much it is okay there it is it's not going to tell me how much it is because i already have it but all you do is just download that and i think it's be cheap like nine dollars or nineteen dollars all right, well, it says 24, gifted for 24. I might just do that. I might gift this to some lucky person who has a PC. You got to have a PC. This will do nothing for you if you're just playing on your Oculus. As you can see, connect wireless to your computers to watch movies, browse the web, play games on a giant virtual screen, or stream PC VR games. Virtual Desktop is highly optimized native application developed for low latency, high quality streaming. And it does. It actually low. It streams extremely high. Let me show you something. Let me open up my oculus meta if i could figure out where it's at <laughs> it is so far away from me uh where is it at where is it at oh right here okay so let me open this up and let me show you something So if I scroll down, and this is how I change my resolution for my Oculus Meta. Some people do it other ways. I do it this way because I go into here and I can change it from here. Now, right now, it is on 72 hertz. I could bump it up. It gets a little finicky once I go past 90, right? But I could bump it up to here. And that's where I got it set up right now. I'm not going to bump it up past 72 hertz, though. But you're going through. Oh, I'm at 30 percent on my right ones. OK, going through my um, PC VR games, my meta, my Oculus um, headset and this and this right here makes it look really good. I mean, really good. It pushed it to a, a a higher, even higher level than what it was. And when you add virtual desktop, because virtual desktop, let me show you what it stays a constant. Not that one. Look at that, a constant 90 frames per second, video frame rate, video bit rate. That is constant. You could change it in here. 
I messed with these one time and I messed up everything. I will never go back and go through this and change it again. You can try it and mess around with it, but I'm not. You even have streaming um, that you can change your streaming graphics. I'm not messing with none of that. I'm going to leave it exactly how it is. My environments. Now, this is one thing that I do love, though, because as you can see right now, I'm in an environment on virtual desktop, but I could change it to a lot of things. Sometimes I put it here. Man, that's cool, ain't it? So if I had a, a high rise apartment bit in New York, this would probably be how it would look with the uh, ceiling to floor windows and the very nice very nice furniture and everything my computer over there this is how it would look now i'm assuming that's an xbox down there i don't have an xbox so i'm a pc guy so i don't have an xbox oh we can go all the way straight night look at that and let me change my seating so we can go to different seats different seats this is the closest i can get over here Ain't that cool? And then I can go over to my computer, sit in front of it. Now, if you put your keyboard right in front of the computer, you could use it just about the same way. My keyboard isn't nowhere near there, so I can't use it. But this is cool, isn't it? So again, I can change it. I'm sitting in this seat. sitting in this seat or the seat over there so they have different environments check this out first class i am sitting in an airplane look at that look at the engine tell me this isn't cool now i'm sure this is probably how first class would be we got the chips and the sodas over there i could just get and I can watch some TV, lean back into my comfortable chair, entertainment, dining access. Look at that. All the good stuff. And as you can see, it's crystal clear. Whoops, let me take that off. Personal theater. Now, of course, if I'm jet flying around the world, I got a personal theater in my home. Of course. And imagine watching TV on this. I was just watching a football game, and I'm not even a big football fanatic, but it looked really good on here. We got the gaming room. You know? This would be really cool. Check out the computer right there. That almost looked like my computer, too. And then you got other things, you know, you can scroll through there. But this is how virtual desktop. And to me, this is the best thing that I can actually put on here. Everything else, I don't really care for. Let me go back to my my home. I'll do the evening one. So, yeah. So that is virtual desktop. That's the way it looks. That's the way it runs. Again, you have to download it on your PC. You got to download it on your headset. And that's it. All right, everybody. If you like this video, comment, rate, subscribe. I am out.